welcome back. Uh, Stenzel again. We're here in the Lustrous Trail for the Daisy Trail Adventure virtual program. So today I'm just going to show you a little bit of the trail and the hike I'm going on, what stuff you need, and um, a little scavenge around of what you can pick up and find along your trail or hike. All right, so stick around. We're going to have more videos and uh, we'll try to enjoy this as best as possible. A little scenery what we got here as we get more along the trail you'll see better views so stick around the first thing you want to definitely make sure we have is some snack um you want to bring some bottles of water i am double equipped as you can see um you want to wear some comfortable clothing um which i also have done the only thing i did not do is i should have brought some boots i'm in some sneakers right now and it does not do it justice because there is mud everywhere and i'm slipping and sliding so you definitely want to make sure you have some uh hiking boots or um something of that with you know so you can't you won't be slipping um another thing is it's actually kind of cloudy today so we don't need any sunblock but maybe sunblock or like a hat or a um, sunglasses normally you know would be something good um another thing too depending on where you're where you're hiking maybe a mat you might need to know where you are and stuff like that so you don't get lost so definitely want to make sure that you um have your map all right so we're gonna go around and see if we can pick up uh, some of those things from our uh scavenger hunt which i will announce in the next video all right stay tuned so we're back so on the scavenger hunt list number one uh a walking stick i think it's imperative to find a walking stick especially with the muddy terrain that i'm in right now I need something to help me with my balance. Um, so you can find one if your parents allow, you can bring it home, decorate it, you know, something that has sentiments of value for you. Um, number two, uh, pictures of a bird. If you find any like hawks or any like blue jays or cardinals or anything like that, you wanna take a picture of it. Um, that's another thing that's on the uh, scavenger list. Number three would be some animal tracks. If you find hopefully deer mostly, um, Something like that would be pretty cool. Uh, number four would be find a rock that's either bigger than your head or you can find a rock which you can then bring home and decorate if you can't bring home the walking stick. Lucky for me, I already got one of the challenges done. I found a rock bigger than my head. Now I know I have a big head, but this rock actually fits. So I'm gonna try to complete the scavenger hunt on the best of my uh, best of my abilities while we're here and um yeah so we'll see what else we can find on the trail i'm not wearing proper footwear so the mud is a little bit of a enemy at this point i'm trying to stay away from the muddy areas but it looks like it's everywhere kids don't make the same mistake so uh if you're lucky enough you may stumble across a body of water um, this is very rare in Long Island, but sometimes you have them, uh, which I was lucky enough to see. So this is definitely some of the stuff that we want to kind of cherish because we've been stuck inside for so long. Um, and nature kind of gives us this, uh, natural beauty, you know? So definitely try to take in all that you can while you're outside and enjoying your hikes because nothing's better than the great outdoors. Look at that. That's nature at its finest. Oh, I didn't see you guys there. Like I was saying before, nature provides us with natural treasures that we should appreciate and love. You know, uh, we don't want stuff like this to be uh, to go away, you know, with like deforestation and like uh, just treating the environment terribly. So we should do a better job as inhabitants of Mother Earth to try to protect it. Cause we want to keep these natural treasures. So I found my walking stick. But before I actually touch it, I want to use my hand sanitizer. Make sure you actually use this or make sure you have this in your, uh, in your backpack full of your hiking materials. Cause you're gonna need it. Now my hands are nice and clean. I can use my walking stick to help me balance through this muddy terrain.
We also want to take a quick second, take a time out, catch a breather, get some water. Maybe you want to take in some scenery, eat your snack. Now would be a good time to do that. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this nice, beautiful current. We'll be back in a couple seconds. You know, maybe something might catch your eye when you're on your nature, ha your nature walk. I found this weird tent thing behind me. Just thought it was pretty noteworthy that maybe you might find something completely random. Make sure you show us uh, in your nature walk what you find that's completely random and weird. We'd love to see it. One thing that's also um, pretty important is uh, is the clothing. You want to make sure you have long sleeves, boots, long socks. Um, you want to wear bright clothing, um, like neon colors. Uh, that way, if anything, um, if you have it, if you're in hiking in tick infested areas, you can see the ticks on the neon clothing. Um, I've been in situations where where there have been um, where I have been in tick infested areas, and uh, you know, it's very, very dangerous. So you definitely want to take the proper precaution and uh, make sure you're being mindful of that along your uh, nature walks. So hopefully you guys have better luck than me. Um, I found my walking stick. I found a rock bigger than my head. Um, I didn't see any animal tracks or any deers or anything. I hear birds, but I definitely don't see them. Um, so hopefully you guys have a better... Uh, experience with finding the scavenger hunt items than I did. Um, we're gonna just uh, finish up our hike and see whatever new nature encounters we haven't seen yet. You know, even if I didn't find much on my scavenger hunt, it was still pretty cool to come out here and see what nature has to offer us. Um, the good scenery, um, you know, it's good exercise. You know, we've been in quarantine for a little bit, so it's good to come out here, get a little exercise on a hike on a trail um, and then get some fresh air. You know, we've been cooped up in our house for so long that it's good to actually come out here and enjoy the outdoors. Just make sure you watch your footing wherever you're going because <laughs> it's a little bit muddy and like I said before I'm not wearing boots so just be careful and always look where you're going. That would be a good time to stop and take a water break. It's essential. High quality H2O. <laughs> also pretty awesome look at this running water running down into that stream over there that's crazy this is this is a real life nature walk with running water gotta love the scenery that nature provides as you can see we're on the ascend of the hike right now um kind of the visual as you can see it is very very muddy it is very very cloudy so trying to get out of here before any real weather um comes but uh definitely want to check your your weather report and everything before you go on your actual nature walks the excellent part about nature walks 
is that you actually feel like you're getting a workout, you know? So it's definitely the exercise I was talking about before. And if you guys saw my video last week with staying fit, this is a great follow up to that because it's all about coming outside or getting or staying inside and being active. Whether that's working out in the house or getting out here and doing some nature walks or something like that. So very imperative to get up and get active. Okay, we're back at the uh, Daisy Trail virtual program. It's me, Denzel again. Um, just kind of get a, a glimpse of all the landscape we have traveled together. We're at the summit right now uh, of the trail and kind of we're back where we started. But I just wanted to rehash some things. Um, you know, basically in times like this, it's good to get out and enjoy some fresh air and enjoy what, enjoy what nature has to offer. Um, and if you do, you want to make sure you have the proper attire, long sleeve, neon colors, preferably, and some boots. Um, definitely want to have some water, snack, uh, some of the essentials, flashlight map um, in your backpack. If you're watching this right now, uh, wherever you're watching this, and you decide to go on a hike of your own, please go to uh, at Girl Scouts underscore SC and comment and tag all your videos and all your uh, pictures that you find on your personal hikes and, tra and trail adventures. Uh, we would love to see the response and I hope that you guys enjoy yourselves and stay safe out there.